Coming up today on That LTD Life, when I first got into business, they always said that if you want to be the authority on a subject, you got to write a book because then you can literally say you wrote the book on the subject. Well, with AI, is anything even real anymore? We're going to find out today as we look at First Book AI. This is a lifetime deal that's designed to help you write a book in under 24 hours. I'm hoping this review doesn't take 24 hours, but let's go ahead and dig in. Currently just 49 bucks over at AppSimo. I've got a link in the description if you wanna support the channel. Let's check the plan details. For 49 bucks, we can write exactly one book. If you need to write more than that because you're gonna be the expert on three subjects, you can move up to tier two. And hey, if you wanna be the next Stephen King, I, I don't know, does Stephen still write books anymore? If you wanna write a lot of books, you can write 10 books for $259. All right, so like what's gonna be in this book? Well, we get an AI powered outline. Then we get guided writing experience, a writing coach, a long format AI book writer, a simple step-by-step -step process, optional assistance from the support team. So if you want support, you can get it, but they're not gonna bat down your door. We get up to eight main chapters and 24 total chapters. What a main chapter and a non-main chapter is, I guess we will have to find out together because guess what, I've already got my code. Just tier one, we're gonna write one book. I think that's good enough for me. I mean, are we systematically destroying a core fundamental of society by allowing us to click a button and write a book? <laughs> Let's find out. So the first thing to do is click right here, create new book, and then you need to enter in your working book title. All right, I've got a working book title. I'm gonna call it Digital Maximalism. Digital maximalism is an actual concept I had for a book a few years back. I never took the time to write it, but the main idea is that you should not be a digital minimalist. Instead, you should dig in and you should find all of the ways that technology can improve your life. Stop thinking of it as a distraction and avoid all of the terrible things like social media and instead embrace the ways that it can make life better. All right, is that a good subject for a book? I don't know if people be into that or not, but let's go ahead and find out. The primary goal or purpose for the book. Hmm, I think it's to educate, but possibly also to guide and maybe also inspire. Let's go with guide. I think that's kind of in the middle between educate and inspire. I mean, it looks like they're just using type form for this. Uh, very interesting choice for the builder. It's probably not, but it looks a lot like it. Who is your target audience? Well, let's go with entrepreneurs. I mean, I think it's actually truly like the general public that thinks that technology is dumb and evil, but we'll stick with entrepreneurs for this particular situation. All right, it asks for a brief description of my book. I gave it a little description here. I wrote it very, you know, quickly and in plain English, not trying to sound too fancy or elegant here. If I were really writing a book, I'd take a lot more time and make this much more, you know, interesting to read and thoughtful. It just kind of sounds like, a brain dump, that's essentially what I did. So let's go to the next question here. It says, what key problem or question will your book address? So I wrote, how to get the bad technology out of your life and how to use technology to actually make life better. All right, I think that's a pretty good goal. It's kind of like that old Louis C.K. skit where they're like, everything's amazing and no one's happy. Yeah, I wanna fix that. Next question is, how detailed do you want the book to be? Introductory, intermediate, or advanced? I'm gonna go with intermediate, middle of the road, and hit continue. Next question, what writing style best fits this book? Formal academic, conversational, storytelling, or analytical? I'm gonna go with storytelling. And now it is putting my outline together. This is kind of exciting. What if I end up with a bestseller? I'm not holding my breath. All right, it says, fantastic. You've completed your first major step on your journey to authorship. And then it's got a little party for me. So let's go. All right, back to the dashboard. It now says my books and here is my first book, Digital Maximalism. If I click on book outlines, does it do anything? I've been wondering what this button was for. That does not do anything. This interface is very, very sparse. It's basically just that prompt section that we just went through. Yeah, even in the edit profile section, there's, there's nothing. Let's go back to book outlines. Oh, that's what this is. We're on the book outline section already. Makes perfect sense now. Let's go into the book and see what outline it created for us. So this is a guide for entrepreneurs, intermediate level, storytelling, writing style. We've got the description and the central issue here. It did not rewrite any of that. It's exactly what I chose. I mean, I kind of would have liked if it had rewritten it to be maybe a little bit more well-written. And then we've got our outline here. It looks like there is going to be 
eight chapters, and then there's some other topics listed inside of those chapters. So basically the first chapter is an introduction to digital maximalism and the evolution of technology in our lives, understanding digital maximalism and the balance of good and bad technology. I mean, I think we can do better than just calling some technology bad, but maybe this is how simple it needs to be. I mean, honestly, the outline is not half bad. I I'm actually interested in seeing how this book will turn out. Now there is an edit button up here, so I can click on edit. And now I see the world's smallest editor for my outline. Let's make this bigger so I can see the whole outline at once, folks. There it is. So it says, customizing your book outline, ready to shape your book. Use this page to edit your outline. Stick to our structure to ensure the AI runs smoothly. Once done, don't forget to save your progress. Requirements are eight chapters total, three sub chapters per book, per chapter. So basically they're calling these little bullet points a sub chapter. That's where we get the 24 total chapters. All right, I'm changing this to helpful and harmful technology. So I kind of wish I could use AI in this section, even just to chat with some bot or something to say like, here's some other subjects I want to include. How would you adjust the outline? I think that'd be really helpful. In fact, maybe I'll just do that with Claude right now. All right, so I'm doing this. I went ahead and I imported everything into Claude, uh, the existing outline. I gave it the requirements as well as all of the details that the other tool had come up with. And then I just asked it that I wanted to add this section into the book here. I wanna work a section on how to make sure technology doesn't get in the way of real human connection, family time, dating, and spouses. And then I asked it how it could fit it into the overall requirements. And then Claude went ahead and output this right here. So what it did is add in chapter four, strengthening human connections in a digital age. So this looks really good. And this is kind of what I want. So I would love if this sort of technology was built right into the book creation tool so I could have some assistance to make that outline. Interestingly, like the chapter that it removed is called Enhancing Happiness Through Technology, Finding Joy in Connectivity, Digital Tools for Personal Growth, and Avoiding the Traps of Social Media Comparison. I think that sounds like a pretty important chapter, but the one that I'm adding in, I think sounds a little bit more important. So I'm gonna paste in the cloud output here. Uh-oh, it's in Markdown. Yeah, so I mean, that's just one reason you wanna have it built right into the tool, right? So you don't have to be worrying about the different formatting that goes around. It's in the end, not that big of a deal. I went ahead and fixed it. Everything's good to go now. So let's save my outline and let's write the book. Let's see what this is like. I don't know if it's gonna do it just all automatically for me or I need to be engaged. We're gonna find out. So we'll go into the outline one more time and hit create book. All right, looks like I am on the path to becoming an author. I can do a book blueprint for one credit or do a full book. So it says, with the book blueprint, you're gonna get a detailed roadmap for your book. Uh, this option provides you with a chapter by chapter blueprint, leaving you with the enjoyable task of bringing each section to life through your own words. All right, so if you actually want to be an author, this is a head start to do so. It'll do a lot of the, the writing and the outlining for you, and then you can actually make it your own book. Or if you're wanting to do what I'm doing, because I'm making a YouTube video right now, we can choose the full book option and the AI will do everything. So let's go ahead and spend a credit. Okay, I click that. It took me right back out to the main screen here, the book outline screen, and it says, continue your book. So I'll click there and I can finalize the book. It says, welcome to the final step before your book comes to life. I kind of wonder why it didn't take me right into this screen when I clicked the button to create the book. Uh, it says, before our AI starts writing your book, it hasn't started yet, get going, man. Let's infuse it with your unique personality to make sure every word echoes with your personal touch. Pro tips, make sure to fill out both the chapter draft and anecdotes. Uh, try to refrain from having AI generate these fields for you. So essentially, I have two prompts to complete here. First is the intro chapter draft, where it actually wants me to write a draft of the very first chapter. And it says, don't worry about typos or anything like that. They just want to get a feel for how you write so the book actually is in that same voice. I guess this makes sense, but now I gotta write something. I wanna be an author, but I don't wanna have to, you know, write a paragraph even. Jokes, folks, jokes. Uh, next is anecdotes required. So this is gonna be little stories or things that you want woven into the course of the book. So it says this will illuminate your writing, providing valuable insights to your readers. I don't know how valuable my insights are gonna be, but let's go ahead and give this a shot. I'm gonna try to work on this for 
Not 24 hours, but I'll give it in a good go here. All right, I did my job. I took my time and wrote a decent intro chapter as well as several different anecdotes and I'm ready to save my progress. And now it says I can submit the book for review. So that is a little bit interesting since I thought the book hadn't begun to be written yet, but let's go for it. All right, so now it says the book is in review. Let's click on it again. Again, it took us out to this main page. I don't know why it keeps doing that. So I reloaded the page and now instead of in review, it says in progress. So I assume that means it's writing the book right now. When I click on it, it just says book status in progress. And then it's got a book ID here. Is it going to take 24 hours now for the AI to actually write my book? I'm not sure. So unless I've missed something, which would not be the first time that has happened, there's not very good documentation to tell me what to expect or when to check back. And even looking at their homepage, there's not really like a support page or any sort of help docs or anything. It's just all of their marketing materials. I did notice there's a section down here that says how it works. So I tried to click on that, maybe thinking there'd be some details, but I get a page not found. Now, it doesn't mean my book is going to be garbage. I fully expect to hit the New York Times bestseller list here. I think it's a great concept, but I don't want know when it's going to be done. And if it's going to take a day, I'm not going to sit here. All right, so I'm going to pause the video and I will be back when this book is done or I have anything else of interest to report. Eventually. All right, it's been maybe a half hour and I happen to check back on the site and the book is done. So how long did it take? I can't say for certain, but it was not over an hour. I've not looked at it yet, so let's do it for the first time together. I'm going to click and it says I can download the book in Google Docs, Word or PDF. So that's kind of exciting. I don't think anything else on this outline page has updated, but you know what? Let's go ahead and open it up in uh, how about Google Docs asking me to make a copy of this document. So we'll do that. And here it is. My first book starts off with a teaser here. I noticed there is bits of markdown kind of throughout the, uh, the book here where it should be in bold, but it is not. So that's interesting. I mean, obviously very simple to fix. I am seeing that it's including a little bit of the anecdotes that I included in my preface. So that was really cool to see. I mean, it does kind of feel a bit like my writing. Uh, yeah, overall, it looks pretty good. I wonder how long the overall book is. So I'm on chapter one here. This is the introduction that kind of sets up the book. Let's just go to the end, see how many pages we're at. 57. It looks like 64 pages. I didn't think to look at Google Docs, but that'll tell you right away. Now, I'm obviously not going to sit here and read this entire 64 page book, but I will tell you just skimming it, it looks pretty decent. So what I can do is actually make this downloadable in the description down below. So if you want to check out how high quality of a book it is, well, read for yourself. I mean, probably only available for a short period of time because I'll have to pull it down when I get it published and it'll be for sale on Amazon. But now I don't know what this says about me or society, but I think that publishing a book that someone else wrote, even if it's AI, just I would never do it. I think it's unimaginable. But I know that people have been doing it for a year plus at this point, so it's definitely happening. Now, do I think this is a complete waste of time and no one should use this tool? Well, no, I bet if you go through the process and use the outline, like the outline was like a good starting point. And if I was actually passionate about writing a book, which by the way, I am not, if I was, man, that would be a good head start and I could start to craft it and really be thoughtful about it. Um, but the way that I used it in this video is not really anything that's going to be productive to society. It's not going to produce, produce great literature or improve anyone's life in any meaningful way, I don't think. But again, the link to my book is in the description. So for 49 bucks, do I think this is a good investment? Potentially. It depends on what you want to do and your approach. I do think you need to be passionate and thoughtful and take some time to actually get a good result. If you're just looking to slap your name on a book, well, I guess it could do that too, but I just don't stand behind that. Who knows, maybe someday I will actually write a book. It could even be digital maximalism, but I don't think I will do so with the help of AI. I'd probably do it the old fashioned way and just sit down and start to hate myself for months on end. Overall, I'm gonna give first book AI a 7.3 out of 10. Very nice implementation of this tool, but just makes me feel all morally twisted around 
That's gonna do it for this review. If you wanna grab a copy of this tool, I've got a link in the description. Go ahead and leave me a comment for the algorithm or ask me a question, I will genuinely answer it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next review.